Hey, what's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. It's Pop Migs coming at you with another unboxing video. In today's video, we're gonna do another mystery box. We got three boxes coming over from new and old Funko Pop unboxings. Let's see what pops we got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna open up some mystery boxes. Just like I said in the intro, I'm super hyped about this. I just recently did another mystery box run in my last video and I'm getting back into doing some more mystery boxes, especially from some awesome people like these. So before we get into it, just make sure you guys do like down below, comment, feel free to share this video with friends and family. Let me know what you think about the polls that I get. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, click down on that red button. I would really appreciate it, you guys as well as checking me out on Instagram. You can follow me at pop underscore mix. Kind of see what's going on on the social media side of things. But let's get into this. So we got three boxes over from new and old Funko Pop unboxings. They have a YouTube page and it's new and old Funko Pop unboxings. You could you could search for them that way. I'll, I'll link them down below as well. Well, it's a father, son, Jeremy and McGillney. And Jeremy, of course, is, is the old, is the father and then new is McGillney. So they're super cool. I love their dynamic. I've been following them for a while. I love their videos and they do a lot of cool stuff. They're really, really cool people. But they recently started doing some mystery box runs on a bunch of different pops and I wanted to support them and I also wanted to just, you know, see if I could pull some cool stuff. So these boxes were actually pretty good. They were only $13 plus shipping, I believe. And there was only 40 boxes total in the run. And I picked up three. So like I said, I, I love supporting the community. Thank you guys for putting out great content and putting out some cool boxes. I'm excited for these nonetheless. I love doing mystery boxes and you know, I like the mystery of it. I usually like try to get, you know, like I say, I try to get stuff that either I personally like or fit into my collection. Mostly stuff that I don't have would be great. And if I can get something with really good value, it'd be cool too. So I don't know if there was any guaranteed value in this. I don't think there was, I'm not sure exactly. I just know that each one, even if you got multiples, you weren't gonna get any doubles, which is really cool. I think Jack Box, Jack, the Jack in the Box was one of like the top hits. There was a few other ones on there, but either way, it's cool. It's a cheap box. And you know, like I said, this is definitely to support a great, you know, group of individuals. And you can check them out on Instagram as well. I'll, I'll put them down here. Their Instagram, I believe, is new and old unboxings it just doesn't have the Funko Pop in it but yeah check them out but let's see what we got so I'm excited for these so I got three of them so of course it's one pop in each and we will see what we got so and I've never you know got anything from them so I don't know exactly how they package so it is in a sorter, awesome. And, oh, this is super cool. So this is their card there. It's got a nice little business card and it says, come spend 10 minutes with us. Jeremy and McGillney go over their co-hosts. Um, and then it has also their Instagram. Like I said, make sure you do like, comment on their videos, subscribe to them. They're awesome, awesome, cool. Uh, duo themselves. I love their dynamic McGillney. He's hilarious, uh, but it's super cool. So that's their business card and a sweet looking sticker there. This is such a cool little logo. The two of them coming out of the box with the YouTube. My daughter actually saw this bo these boxes and this taping on here and she was grabbing them and was like cracking up like, oh, like she really loved the way they looked. So, all right. Let's get into the unboxing. So, not sure if it's gonna be upside down or not, but I'll pop it open so you guys can see first. Three, two, one, boom. So there. Not sure if it's upside down or not. what I get? Ooh, all right, this is sweet, nice. So this is a cool one. So this is one I don't have, which is great, because like I said, I love getting stuff that I don't you know, currently have. And this is an awesome pop. I've been thinking about getting these. The WandaVision show is such a cool show. So if you haven't watched it, definitely check it out, especially if you're a Marvel fan. Uh, it ties a lot of, you know, what's going on into the previous, you know, world and everything that was going on after Endgame and kind of tying it into the next phase of Marvel and the cinematic universe. But this is Vision 50s. So in the show, so you can see real quick, kind of just the rest of them back there. But in the show, 
it starts off kind of like a sitcom and Vision and Wanda are together. And of course, they're in like the 50s. Or it's all black and white. It's a really old like Dick Van Dyke type show. And later on transitions into like color and stuff. So they came out the pop versions. And this is of course Vision when he's, you know, in disguise, not looking like Vision where he makes himself look more like a human. And this is a cool one. So like, like I said, the show is super cool. It's been getting so good lately. It's been insane. But I didn't jump on any of the pops, even though they look really cool. I just didn't get any of them yet. But I'm glad that I got this one because this is a super cool one. This is Vision 50s. So an awesome box so far for number one. All right, so let's take a look at our second box. So I'm not, I'm not too sure if, when I ordered, I don't believe you were able to like pick numbers or anything, but these do have numbers. He probably just numbered them so he knew, you know, for himself, I would assume. But this is number 10, this is 23. The first one that I opened was 30, 30, 23, Michael Jordan, hey. So either way, still cool numbers. And let's see what 23 has for us. Again, of course, it's gonna have the card and the sticker because, of course, could have just ordered one, so they want to make sure that everyone gets these. And I'm, I'm sure he didn't know exactly if you got multiples because they sh ship separately. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one. Pop number two is. Let's see you guys. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Nice. Okay, there's another one I don't have. Chuck Nolan. So this is Tom Hanks from Castaway and his character Chuck Nolan. This one is the Target exclusive of him and Castaway. And you can see him, he has the crab on the end of his little spear there that he made so that he can eat. <laughs> awesome movie, very, very good movie by Tom Hanks, of course. It's essentially just Tom Hanks, the entire movie lost on an island but this is a cool one so this is chuck nolan is his name i like the detail on this this is really cool he's got the crab <laughs> that's a really cool one and it is a target exclusive so two cool pops so far and let's see if we'll make it three for three with ones i don't have and do like So like I said, make sure you do definitely check them out. New and old Funko Pop unboxings. Watch their videos. Subscribe to the page. They're awesome. And follow them on Instagram as well. So this one is in a Pop Shield snug box. All right. So this is number three. All right. Let's see what we got here. This is a big hit. Three, two, one. 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 <laughs> All right, flip him around because I don't know if he's upside down. And it is SpongeBob. Nice. I don't have any SpongeBob pops. <laughs> All right, so this is SpongeBob SquarePants. And this is him putting up like a rainbow sign. I'm not positive exactly. I mean, I've, I've watched SpongeBob probably not in a while, but it is, it is actually a pretty funny show. So. So that's out of that wave right there. So not necessarily a big uh, SpongeBob character, like a collector or anything like that. So still a cool pop either way. It's Nickelodeon, SpongeBob SquarePants animation. But yeah, super cool. Overall, I'm happy. Really cool box. I got stuff that I don't have, like I said. Uh, probably the ones that will really fit into my collection, probably, even though, who knows? I mean, I, I'm kind of like an in-box, out-of-box. So my daughter, my you know, she's only 18 months, but I give her sometimes some of the out-of-box pops that I feel like she likes. She might like this one, unless this one has like a lot of value, which I don't think it does, but otherwise it might end up being hers. Super hyped about this Marvel one here, Vision 50, and another cool one here, Chuck Nolan from Castaway. So I quickly checked values on these just to kind of get an idea, because it was a hit or miss box so i would pretty much think you either weren't going to really make your money back or be right around with the boxes or get something that's going to get you some so based off of that chuck nolan so this is just ppg as of today 
This is only $7, so this was one of the, you know, miss boxes, but still a cool pop. The Visions, uh, Vision 50s, this one was $11, so he's right around like normal common pop range, which is right around what the box was. The Chase version of this, which is still black and white, but he's in his Vision, like, you know, robot looking face, and the suit is like $70 right now, so that Chase is super sick, so if you have that, definitely hold on to it. And the big hit was actually the SpongeBob SquarePants. So this one was PPG value right now, $31, which was shocking to me. Definitely didn't know that, that it was. And after I did that, I realized that the stickers as well, so they all came with, you know, their own. And these right here are, you know, just normal white stickers. I didn't notice this at first. One of them, however, is kind of like metallic you see them there like holographic looking that one was in the last one which was a top hit so i wonder if if it was like a, a hit if you were going to get one of these stickers and if it was a miss it was one of just general stickers i might be wrong let me know jeremy if, the, if that's kind of what you guys did or if it was just random that you had different stickers but this ended up being one of the hits which is funny i had no idea that that would have been compared to, you know, some of these other pops, but definitely the chase of this is crazy. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Thank you, Jeremy and McGinley. Thank you for putting these boxes together. I believe they have another mystery box, if I'm not mistaken, going on now, or they're going to be soon. I'm not sure, they usually, they usually do, mis they do a lot of unboxings, a lot of mystery boxes and things like that. And then some of the stuff that they have doubles or just doesn't fit into their personal collection, they'll throw up on their own version. So on their website, which should be in all their handles, I believe it's like new and old unboxings. At that website, will usually be live when they have something and the mystery box run. So make sure to check them out. But this one was a cool one. Appreciate you guys for putting out some good stuff and great contact. Thank you guys. Please make sure that you guys like down below. Let me know what you feel about these pools. Feel free to comment and share with this video with anybody you want as well as subscribing to my page if you haven't subscribed already. Hopefully I did gain your subscription so you can stay up to date with more of my content and all the videos that I'll be putting out for you guys. I will be posting regularly now Mondays and Thursdays. Also check me out on Instagram at pop underscore migs. You can follow me there. Like I always say guys, make sure you guys are staying safe out there. And until I'm back with another video, take it easy guys.